new, 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 new. Okay, so first up. First up, we have a revision for e-ink displays. You'll see, you know, we're going to be doing revisions every week or two because in the industry, certain chipsets are discontinued to replace with other chipsets. So this is the 2.13 inch e-ink monochrome feather wing it was using an ssd 1675 chipset is now using an ssd 1680 chipset what's the difference not much really it actually pretty much acts the same um, i think it's maybe a little bit faster uh, the display looks the same it's the same resolution however it is a different chipset and so you'll have to update your code uh, we our library supports both so you'll just have to change it from ssd 1675 when you include the header file to 1680 Otherwise, it'll work just fine. All right, next up, we've got some more uh, Molex Pico Blade cables, compatible cables. These are uh, 1.25 millimeter pitch cables. This is a two pin cable, uh, and you can see it's got two connectors, one on each end, um, and they're symmetric. So it's like if you connect one end around, they're, they're the same on both ends. Pin one connects to pin one on the other one. We also have other sizes. We have three pin, we have four pin, 5 pin, 6 pin, 7 pin, 8 pin, 9 pin, and I think 10 pin. Uh, we've got a lot of pins. Uh, each one has on the end a uh, 1.25 millimeter Molex Pico Blade compatible uh, pitch. This is great when, you know, you don't need to carry amps. It's good for maybe a half an amp or so. Um, they're not terribly long. They're about 20 centimeters, um, but they're very compact. Like you can get a lot of pins in a small connector, but you could still kind of hand solder um, the connectors, SMT or through hole onto your PCB. We see Pico Blade compatible cables a lot. Uh, they're very cute. So maybe I'll show one on the overhead real fast. So this one is the seven pin. So this is just demonstrative again, you know, they're all going to be the same except for more pins. Uh, so, um, you know, this one you can see uh, black is pin one, so it goes black, red, white, yellow, green, blue, and then the same over here. So you can, you know, flip these back and forth, rotate them, whatever, and they're they're the same cable on both sides. Um, and then you know we've got the four pin one. So pick whichever one you like. Of course, you can cut these in half and have two pigtails if you like. But I, you know, it is kind of nice to have uh, two cables, you know, two ended cables. Um, and uh, we've used again, we've used Pico blades quite a bit. We use them for our speakers when a JST SH even is, or a PH is too big. And um, we like the, the compactness of the JS, uh, sorry, of the Molex Pico blades. So uh, we see these in um, robotics and uh, drones use these a lot as well. Okay, next up. Uh, next up. Okay, so we've got an update to a very popular board, uh, which you might find familiar. It's the MCP 9808, which we are going to still stock in the original version. Which has been terrorizing space, apparently. Uh, apparently. Um, we have it now in STEMI QT format. This is one of the few boards which we're going to actually carry both versions, both the STEMI QT and non STEMI QT, because a lot of people were using the previous one that had all the address pins broken out. And so I was like, well, I, I think it's it's worth it to carry both for a bit, and then we'll see if people um, are, you know, really want to just move from one to the other. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we also have a demo. Is this the current product or the next one? Oh, it's the next one. I'm um, sorry. Next Sorry, product. Next product is uh, it looks so similar. It's the HTU31, which we showed on a previous INMPI. I don't know if you remember. This is from TE, uh, and they have made uh, wonderful sensors. The HTU21D is a very common temperature and humidity sensor. This one's great too. It's got the same two percent relative humidity um accuracy uh this one has oh much is this the star of the show this is the star of the show oh uh the star, star of the show tonight besides you lady Ada, and our entire team is this <laughs> yeah i'm just, sorry because yeah. it looks so similar yeah uh this one's got uh great temperature accuracy it's uh 0.2 uh, degrees c plus or minus and i've got a little demo to show it off here we've got uh arduino and circuit python code for this uh oh, this is very very zoomed in Okay, so I've got it here on my Feather. Uh, it's got the STEMI QT connector for quick um, plugging in to my Feather board. I've got OLED just showing off this demo. Um, I, you know, for this version, one of the things I did is you can see I have a little cutout that gives it a little bit of a thermal isolation. So if you are using it in uh, with a couple other boards, it's nearby. Um, the, the heating of those boards won't affect the sensor as much. 
Uh, that said, what's nice is that this runs from two to five volts on its own, so there's no regulator on this board, just needs a couple pull-ups um, and capacitors. It's got a reset pin, which I like, a hardware reset pin. I always like that. You can always get the sensor into a good state if it gets confused. It's got an address pin, so you can have two of these on one I2C bus, um, address 40 or 41 hex. Um, the data that comes out of it has CRC, so you can make sure, like, it, you know, a lot of sensors, they don't give you CRC data, the data you read is the data you read. If you're in a high noise environment or maybe you don't, you know, you don't trust that maybe the data you're getting is, hasn't been tampered with or has, you know, noise or um, some other, uh, uh, you know, feedback or something that is, is causing it to uh, add or drop a bit, uh, the CRC means you can make sure that the, the data you're getting is correct. And it's also got a little self-heater, so you can use that to um, burn off any condensation, especially when you get to um, high humidity or if there's like wetness that splashes on it, uh, you can kind of evaporate that off and then get true uh, gas humidity sensing. So this is this is quite good. I mean, like it's, it's a little warm because it's been sitting under these lights, um, but the humidity is uh, pretty accurate. And then, you know, when I hold it, um, you can see it reacts very quickly as well. So it's a, it's a very quick to react sensor. Uh, people really like the TE HTU21. So if you did, you're like this. It's basically the same price or less and even more accurate. That's a product.